Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Calculus 2 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to tackle the uh, sometimes daunting looking section called uh, trigonometric integrals, okay? Uh, so there's a section in Advanced Calculus 2 called trigonometric integrals. Uh, they're usually just the pages just bleed with a bunch of examples that have a lot of trigonometry in there and simplification and other things. And, uh, you know, those are, uh, uh, those are challenging because there's no one way to do them. You just sort of have to get a feeling for what you need to do. And the only way you can do that is to see some examples, okay? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tackle these types of problems in this section. Now, don't confuse this section with something you've already studied before on my previous DVD, which is called trigonometric substitution. That's when you are making a substitution uh, of a very specific type uh, that deal with the trig angles into the equation. This is trigonomic integrals, and let me give you an example of what uh, trigonometric integrals, integrals, let me give you an example of what that might look like. The first form of the uh, trigonometric integrals that you'll see uh, are of the form of the integral of sine to the nth power of x times cosine to the nth power of x dx. Okay, So here is the general case. You have a sine function raised to a power and you have the cosine function raised to a power and these can be different numbers so you might have sine cubed and you have cosine squared or something and basically th these all become an exercise in trying to factor out and use different identities and uh, you know and 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 make it simpler and that's basically what it all boils down to okay so the the basic way I want you to tackle these kinds of problems are as follows there's there's really no no one way to do these things I mean you have to play with them and I'm gonna try to give you some guidelines so what you say is uh, for instance in general if m or n which are these exponents here are odd odd Okay, if they're odd, okay, then here's what you're in general going to do. This is just an in general kind of thing. You're going to factor out uh, the one with the odd exponent. Okay, we're going to get problems to show you what I mean by that. Uh, so if this guy's odd, if this is sine cubed, he's odd, so you'll factor out one of the sines, leaving sine squared. So you'll factor him out, you'll factor the one that's odd out. You'll rewrite uh, the function using the famous identity that you guys all know, cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to 1. Okay, you'll rewrite using that, and then you'll use substitution. substitution, if I can spell right, okay? So that's the basic cookie cutter thing. Now you can't, you know, you can't get too, too uh, wrapped up in this formula here. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to get you uh, through most of the cases, okay? So let's go ahead and do one problem here. And I'm going to go ahead and start the problem right below here, and I'm going to try to fit it in here. Let's say you're going to have the integral of sine cubed x, so sine of x all raised to the 3 power times cosine squared x dx, and you want to evaluate that integral. What you want to do is you want to beat this thing into, the, into a shape so that you can do some sort of substitution on it and get it to cancel. So using our cookie cutter thing, which is sort of a first place to start, this is m and this is n, okay? This is odd. So I'm going to rewrite this integral as sine of x times sine 